Hello, I'm Deshaun, a Spring Developer Advocate. I want to help you get to production with more joy, frequently, and safely. You might have code running in production that concerns you. Although you enjoyed developing it, it's not at its best in the current state. I've got a repository here using Spring Boot 1.5. You probably don't have anything this old still running in production, uh, but yeah, I do. And this is where we are. Spring Boot 1.5 has been out for a while. Uh, this is the dash line. Here's where we are today. We want you to be in the green. We want you to have all the support. We want you to be upgraded and secure. As you can see here, the repository has been out of support for quite some time. Uh, but your code, it doesn't have to be this old. I want to share some really effective tools that can help make a significant difference, no matter how old your code is. So first, I'd like to talk about the Spring Health Assessment Report. You have other tools that will provide similar information. This tool is unique for a few reasons. First of all, it's free. Uh, it focuses specifically on spring and micrometer dependencies in your project. And it also includes kind of the OSS support calendar. It's got the information about when support uh, begins and stops. So you can be aware of, hey, keeping your stuff uh, covered. And here's how it works. Uh, because I'm on using Maven, in this repository and I'm on Apple. I'm just, I'm going to copy this command and I'm going to go over here to this repository. I have a copy of this repository sitting right here. I'm going to run this command and I'm going to get this spring dependencies document. Uh, and as you can see the list, this is the information that's being sent to the spring team. So all you do is run this. You're going to capture this file, this information, this data is shared with the Spring team, but it's limited to Spring and Micrometer. None of your proprietary information or private information is being shared. So let's take this report and let's let's send it to the Spring team and let's get some, some feedback. I'm gonna go over here. Here's where we started, the one that we just ran. And let's submit this. I fill in my information. Again, I'm Deshaun. Here's my email address if you've got questions. And let's generate a report. It only takes a second. This, this is not good. The colors hopefully help you understand this is not good. Sometimes a report that looks like this is called a CISO heartburn report. I picked that up from a customer uh, earlier this week. Uh, the report, this report, reports like it are being ran across your ecosystem, your organization already. But this, this report, this tool in particular can help you prioritize which things to work on first because like I said it includes that calendar so this is not a good example that uh, there's no support for Spring Boot 1.5 in any of the libraries uh, there's a lot of vulnerabilities uh, and it might take you some time understand but I'm here to help the other tool that I'd like to show you I'd like to talk to you about is to help reduce your CISO's heartburn. So let's jump in and let's see what that looks like. In this demo, I'm going to start with Java 8. I call this tool my favorite cheat code for maintaining and upgrading your Spring projects. We're going to check out that Spring Boot 1.5 repository that we just looked at. We ran the report for it and we're going to start it up. We're going to see that it's running. You've got workloads that are running in production. Why mess with it? Uh, and here it starts up just fine. We're going to go ahead and check to make sure that it's healthy. Uh, that's all that this simple application is doing. Access the old health endpoint and it's up, it's running. And just for measure, I'm going to take a sample and say, hey, look at 364 megabytes of memory. That's how much that, that application running on Java 8 and Spring 1.5 is consuming at that time. So we're done. Open rewrite makes upgrading more straightforward than you might expect. So here's the cheat code I'm running and let's see how fast we can move this project forward. This particular recipe is a nested recipe and it's going to upgrade us from 1.5 to 2.0, from 2.0 all the way up to Spring Boot 3.2.2. You can learn more about open rewrite and how it can assist you in your upgrade process by visiting docs dot openrewrite.org. 
So our application is done. We've done all the nested set of recipes. And now we can switch at least to Java 17, but let's use Java 21. We're gonna start our application just like we did before. We're gonna see if this recipe actually worked and look at that. Now we're running on Spring Boot 3.2.2. Our application has started up. Let's verify that it's healthy. The new actuator endpoint, the new health endpoint, our application is up and running. Remember we took a sample uh, this time, only 254.1 megabytes of memory. So we've, we've got a little of savings there as well. So let's stop it. We're done. These are the outcomes. Uh, and it only took us a few minutes, but let's go one step further. Let's go into here and let's run another report. Let's run another report. So I'm going to grab it. I'm going to grab our new version. And let's submit that again. Here's all my information. You can feel free to reach out. I would love to hear how things are working. It's seconds. Look at this. We're covered. We have support. We're in the green. We are right where we need to be up here where we're getting these open source releases and support. But now look at this. This is interesting. There is a vulnerability here. I'm going to scroll down, but upgrading this application because it's on the latest and greatest zero effort. So this report much different than this report. And it only took us a few minutes to get here, but let's dig in. What else can we see here? We can see when our OSS support is going to run out. We get some details, our upgrade effort. Well, let's scroll down. I want to see, I want to focus on this vulnerability. So I'm sorting it by the vulnerability. I would like some more info, please. And I can see, here we go. Spring Boot Starter Test 3.2.2 has a moderate vulnerability and we've got all the details here. Let's open up that link and see. Here it is. Here's the details of the CD. Luckily for us, it's a medium vulnerability. But the other tool, the last tool that I want you to be aware of is this calendar.spring.io. From where we are today, by looking ahead just a couple of days to Spring Boot 3.2.3 here, in the closed issues, we can see that this issue has actually been fixed. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. Upgrade. This issue is closed. You'll see the CVE. It's the same CVE ending in 51074 that was in our report. So if we can wait just a couple of days for this release, it's already been fixed. And we see that information here on calendar.spring.io. Java gets a new release every six months. Spring Boot gets a new release every six months. The Spring team is updating and improving projects continuously. The repository that demonstrates this cheat code, how easy it can be for you to upgrade, is here. This is the demo that I just showed. My name is Deshaun Carter. I'm a Spring developer advocate. I want to help you get to production with more joy, frequently and safely. I want to help reduce your CISO's heartburn. So please explore these tools. I'm eager to hear your feedback in the comments below, or you have my email or any other, any, any one of the channels that are listed here on my website at Deshaun.com. Thank you for your time and good luck.